taking about five hours to make this guy. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the first mission in chapter three. I believe there's only two more chapters after this. So we're halfway through the game almost. Future missions should go by a lot more smoother considering how I'll, well, eventually get better pieces, i.e. MG. So, we only have a few more missions to go before we get that, hopefully. Oh, I should've made his eyes red. Should've made his eyes red, damn it. Oh well. Okay, let's see what this guy can do. Actually, Ripper Custom isn't for show. Okay. I have two... Okay, never mind. I wonder if the shield is on cooldown. Let me see. Probably once you take a bit or a certain amount of damage, it will decrease the charge, obviously. But I'm finally glad to be using a melee suit actually has a good amount of DPS, hopefully. Whoa, look at this guy! He's like, he's gonna go fast! He's going fast! That lasted for a pretty long time, actually. Yeah, look, I'm gonna edit this guy after this mission. I wonder if I can change the color of the GN shield. Wait, I can execute this guy. Hold on, let me... There we go. I think someone just shot me on the vehicle, by the way, so let me see. Well, never mind. Probably died. Well, we finally met the GP01. Gotta go fast. I feel like Taz. Like, this is ridiculous. But. He definitely lives up to the Ripper name. <laughs> He's quite fierce with the axe. You know. <laughs> I'm dying. Let me heal up a bit. But yeah, their HP is going down a lot faster now, if you guys can notice. Like, they're getting shredded. I like this. I like this a lot. But maybe, like, once we get to the actual player units, uh... I really... or I just might still be disappointed. <laughs> Who knows. Yeah, I feel like it's going faster right now. Transam! Wow, this is really sick. This is actually really fun, guys. Like, you may I may not be expressing that much, but this this build is really fun to play. I mean, look at this. I'm in Transam. I'm making like tornado shit here, just swinging my axe around like I'm a, a warrior. I'm a I'm a fucking warrior right now. Like, <laughs> oh my god. I feel like a god. Like, I honestly feel like a god. Who's that guy on the rolling vehicle? Get over here. This guy is a definition of going fast. Like, he's going faster than me when I'm in tornado mode. Oh, you guys are about to see the... the G and drive ability in a second here. Let's uh, show you guys. 
Bang! Oh, whoa! Look at this! This is so edgy! I am very impressed with this build. Like, the damage output and special effects is too good. And even plays like the... Um, double O music, if you guys can hear it. It's in full boost too, I think. And I don't know if you guys saw that, but I used the Tornado ability and... There's like a slight glitch. Where it didn't actually let me use it, but the charge still went down. Which kind of sucked. Okay, just kill him a bit. This guy's trying to go hard on me, dude. This Jigen over here. Oh well, goodbye. <laughs> GN particles are red too, it's so sick. Yeah, I do like UC suits better than double O suits, but I don't really have all the cool edgy UC suits yet. But we'll get there eventually. Hopefully. <laughs> I can't quite see what I'm fighting. What am I fighting? Is that heavy arms? Yeah. I'm pretty glad I did find a heavy arms finally, because I wanted to make a build that involved his uh, weapons a bit. You know, like one of those like really bulky mobile suits that have like a million rocket launchers and machine guns. Like, I needed his parts to build something like that. Transam. Yeah, this ability is so good. I swear to god, guys. It's really fun to use. Here I thought the axe was like really the, the most boring weapon ever. But then I see that, and I'm just like, the axe is the best weapon ever. And a burst. Dude, this guy's a monster. This is insane.
Okay, finish this guy off real fast. He keeps jumping up there. It's really annoying. Okay. Bring on the next guy. What do you look like? Okay, I guess that isn't that bad, but... Yeah. I don't think he should have the shoulders on like that, but still. Oh, he has a GN shield too! We're, we're twins. We're matching right now. Dude, he is getting trashed. Like, holy crap. I am actually very glad I found this epic level 8 HG axe. This is doing wonders. With this ability, by the way, because this is doing most of the DPS, I think. I actually almost died right there, but my allies healed me, surprisingly, so that was nice. Yeah, this guy has hella armor on, which kind of sucks for me. Transam. Okay, finally he's dead. <laughs> Okay, we're out of Trans Am now. Two guys left, I think. So after I kill this guy, I just go for the last one. Holy crap, those cause huge explosions. These GM missiles are not a joke. Oh, what is this? These guys look like clowns. Holy sh whoa. We have like an, a dwarf Zaku over there. What is that thing?
I'm gonna finish off. Burst. There are like a lot of special effects going on for this suit. Like, with everything all happening at once, it's awesome. But yeah, I'm having a lot of fun playing this game tonight. Last night it was just really kind of annoying because I didn't have like, you know, the good parts yet and the enemies just kept spawning wave after wave with bulky HP and armor so it kind of, you know, it was a neutral fun mode type of night. Backpack is stuck behind that bridge. Let me get that. Okay, there we go. Alright, where's the last guy at? He's dead too? No, he's just standing here. <laughs> I want that new Gundam funnels though. Where's the high new? Can't really see. I think it's high new, yeah. Get this chest of plastic parts. I wonder if plastic even has a use. I think they're just meant for cash. I don't know. I have to look up on that. But look at that explosion though, that's insane. Just for GM missiles by itself. So dead after this. You were so dead. Or nah. Okay, that guy was a champ. He just took so many hits. A high grade lance. That's that's hella sick, which is epic. And here's one of these trolls on the vehicles again. I love these guys especially. Fuck, did I just RKO that guy? Just threw him off his vehicle? Yes. Yeah, Breaker 3, you're doing it right. <laughs> That's how you do it. Just throw people off vehicles like a savage, just steal it. Grand Theft Auto. Breaker Andreas. I wonder if I can run over people with this. Can I? Yeah, I can. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pretty sure they can RKO me and just throw me off the vehicle, but they're too stupid AIs to do that. I'm not really doing DPS with this thing, so I should probably get the hell off. Okay. Did he just get back on that thing? Are you serious? Wow, these guys really love it. Okay, let me just knock you off again. And just get back off.
with this last heavy arms and hopefully face the boss. burst. Clear these trash real fast. Trans Am is available, let's crank up the DPS a bit. I have to say, playing double O suits with um, the attention to be melee is the most fun, I believe, for Breaker so far. With all the special abilities that you have. Because I remember playing, um, was it Seven Swords in Breaker 2? His melee abilities were hella sick. I believe it was the Lake part too. It was like very rapid and it had very high DPS as well. I think that suits from Wing, I'm not sure. But his freaking armor is really annoying. Is that from Wing? I can't remember the name of it. It can't be Rising. There's like no way. Maybe it is, I'm not sure. I, I don't really... I'm not a big fan of G Gundam that much. pieces before he spawns or not. Nah. Hopefully opened. Whoa. That dude hit like a truck. think somebody something gonna die tomorrow in IBO? Uh, <laughs> I don't think they would kill him because I mean he's pretty important like what would happen to Tekadon if he dies like like this their whole group would be just kind of stupid you know if he dies 
I just got an epic body piece, nice. I could, like, they would probably do it for Season 2, but for Season 1, I don't think they would just kill them off so easily that fast. But somebody's definitely gonna die, it's of high importance to the fans, but I don't think it'll be him. So much armor, holy crap. Should call this Exia Blender type because he's kind of a like a blender. What the? Stop hitting him. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> now that now that I think about it, laughter, may not be dead, because like her. The animation wasn't like that, or didn't put much emphasis on it as it did with um, Ozzy. So laughter may still be alive. She's one of my favorite characters from Turbine. But it did show blood in the cockpit, so maybe she's just severely wounded from it. But she didn't have any dialogue afterwards, so. Eh. As for Shino, I don't really give a shit. I don't I don't like Shino that much. He's kind of a nuisance. But, but then again, he's very important to that one kid. Um, the blonde kid, the blonde mechanic. I think he's actually gay, by the way. <laughs> Judging by the way, um, like his body language whenever he sees Shino is kind of suspicious. <laughs> so he, he may be one of Gundam's first, well not first, but one of many gay characters. You shouldn't really see that often in anime. You know. I, s I found one in the Miraniki, and I just finished that anime. And he turned out to be like one of the coolest characters too. If not one of the main... I can't really say antagonist, but one of the coolest mystery characters. That Unfortunately, had didn't really have a good fate in the end, but still, he was really cool. And what am I even fighting right now? I'm fighting a Gelgu? What is this? Did they even use like the twin lances or whatever that has blue beams? I thought that it was just yellow. Hmm. Yeah, I agree with that. They were a lot more um, sensitive about that sort of thing in Japan. Or Asia countries for that matter. This guy's just standing over there? Okay. I'm gonna save Trans Am for the burst because I like the special effects of Trans Am plus the uh, twin drive ult attack.
Is that Wing Gundam? Wait. Oh, never mind. He's dead, but I think it was. Yeah, they're Wings. I fucking hate those in Next when the game first came out. <laughs> they're like the Norn of GBO Next, like when he first came out. He was just so much more superior to the grunt suits that you had when you first started out. Tall geeses? Okay. Oh jeez. I don't really like the tall geese, dude. This doesn't really look that cool. But a lot of people do like tall geese. For some reason. Oh yeah, green special effects. This is so... So cool, so edge. So wow. Here comes special effects. Oh wow, he executed him that fast, nice. Saves my time, dude. Right, kill these two trash Rikioses. Alright, kill the last tall geese too. Or tall geese. I think this guy's in next too, by the way, and he sucks complete ass. <laughs> Ironically. Like, he's, he's got like the most ridiculous moveset that you can possibly think of. His, his main gun, Vernier's, I believe. He has like an evasive and like little pod missiles, which I think he mostly relies on to get a lot of his hit confirms. guys can get bodied. I want to shoot more GM missiles but it's on cooldown. But let's let him get blendered. Mission complete, yes? Yeah? Yes! We got we got left off on a little break there. Said how do you fight more waves of NPCs? But yeah, this suit is really fun to play. By far the best build. Hades, ooh. Hades system. I should actually use these weapons right here. This looks like it fits this Exia a lot more, but... I don't know, I can't... For some reason I can't let go of the axe. And this is the epic lance right here. Because the axe is 3k DPS, and I don't think any of these kind of beat it. So, yeah, none, none of these beat the axe. Like, I'm surprised. The axe is actually very powerful for when I got it. But I have GN weapons now. Or at least not ones that completely suck ass. Well, yeah, I guess they're kind of too low. I think it's a pale rider right there. <clears throat> Probably
probably why I got Hades if he uses that. I'm not quite 100% sure about that. You know, part of me just wants to skip all this crap because I don't feel like selling all this because it takes too much time, but I don't want to or I want to prevent having inventory full of shit, you know, so uh, Are these the same? All right, yeah, they don't have any special things on the parts themselves, so Well, I have a lot of these whatever the hell this is Huh The, the very edgy, just kidding looking Tolgi's arms right there. Some more age stuff, Destiny. Okay, whatever. Oh Jesus, so, so many parts, so many parts, why? I really wish they would just like automatically sell like crap that you don't want to even use. I mean, I don't really think many people want to use something that's low power, unless they're playing with low friends, but still, like, ugh, this sucks. Sucks so bad trying to sell this crap. Like, I don't think I even want to care about selling this anymore. But yeah, I got high new fin funnels. That's nice. Uh, I, I don't give a shit anymore, you know, just forget this. I think I got Norn Shield. That's awesome. And that shield, by the way, is really good. It gives you an eye field. That was another one. Level 5. Five. Or level 6, whatever. Okay. Cutscene time. ロボにしとくのは惜しいよ。ちょっといいか何これから始まるジャパンカップに向けてロボ対応の期待をいくつか用意したんだ。本当どんなのそう慌てるな。準備が必要なんだ。ついてこい。イラトバーバー、この筐